So here we're going to use our family name for today's post to explain a few things. The family name is Ungata. So one of the first things to notice is that the NG are sounded together as one sound. And so one of the ways that that can be done is to put the tilde or this curly sign over both the N and the G together. And so we get the ng sound, which is found in, for example, mangilao. And one of the dead giveaways for some people that they are not um, native to the island is that they have a difficulty pronouncing mangilao. Some of them say mangilao or manilao, but it's very difficult for some to say the ng sound, n g. So it's ungak. Ta, not ungata. The ng are sounded together as ung, one sound. And the word ungak, which is the basis for the last name ungakta, ungak means to knock off balance or to tilt. One example of that is a hymn the, to the Holy Cross that asks the Holy Cross as if it were a tree since the cross is made of wood coming from a tree to ungak papa tilt down ungak papa iramosmu bend down tilt down your branch and I will hug and kiss Christ who's hanging on the cross ungak to tilt <clears throat> and then the last part of the surname is formed by the suffix ta and the suffix ta in Chamorro is the word our inclusive meaning including the person I am speaking to so it is our mine and your ungak and we can see this ta suffix in other Chamorro surnames such as Nangauta, which is prominent in Malesso, Kinata, which is prominent in Umatak, and Babauta, which is very prominent in Agate, but is also found in Malesso. And so another thing that we must keep in mind is not to pronounce it the American way, uh, which would be to um, understand it as the uh sound. So, unload, under, but rather keeping the tomorrow pronunciation of you, u. So it's ungata, un pinko, un talan. Not ungata, un pinko, un talan.